Hello, I'm Martin from ZSK Germany. I work at ZSK as a service engineer. In this video, we would like to show you the adjustment of a twin beat device. First, we need to fill up the loading drum with at least 5 mm in height. Keep in mind that if you want to use beats with different diameters, the bigger ones have to be on the upper loading drum. In order to fill up the beat loading strings, we need to switch the toggle to the bottom position and push the red button. The beat loading drums will start feeding the beats to the string. If the string is fully loaded, switch the toggle to the interim position. After the loading process, we go over to the T8 to enter the testing menu. Therefore, we press the button Service L3, then R2 Test Machine Attachment. We pick Sequence Left and push L8 for Start Testing. If you are at the last needle, you don't need to do anything. If you are on another needle, you need to push the Start button to make a change to the last needle. Next, we need to set the height of the device. It has to be 5 mm above the stitch plate. To lower the device, press the back stitch button twice. To set the height of the device, we place an object with a height of approximately 6 mm between the foot of the device and the stitch plate. In my case, I use a 6 mm Allen key. Then, we need to loosen the two screws. and lower the device until it hits the object. Then we can tighten the two screws and the height setup is done. In order to set up the bead feeder, we need to lift the device. Therefore, push the backstitch button twice. When the device is in the upper position, press the start button twice to be able to move the lever manually. We start with the inner beads, we move the lever backwards against the hard stop and push it back forward. If there is no bead, we need to increase the pass by turning the eccentric clockwise. Always work in small steps and check the feeding after each adjustment. To set the hard stop for the outer beads, this is this part here. We need to lift the motor here by pushing it. Then we need to loosen this screw in here and the one on the opposite side. Now we are able to move the hard stop. Bring the hard stop into position and tighten the screw. Check by moving the lever manually if a bead is feeding correctly. If yes, you can tighten the screw on the opposite side. To align the needle in the hole of the bead, you need to lower the device by pressing the backstitch button twice. Now we need to turn the machine to 180 degrees. To turn the machine, we need to open a cover on the left hand side of the machine and work with the square key. We can turn the machine anti-clockwise to 180 degrees. To unlock the needle, pull the metal bar towards you. To check if the needle is in the center of the beads, we need to push the stop button to feed a bead. Then we can drop the needle manually to see if it fits in the hole. Here we can see that it looks good but it's a bit too close at the front of the bead so we need to move the device a bit backwards. Therefore we need to open the four screws on the left side of the device. And by turning the adjustment screw here we can move the device forward and backward. Every time I keep an eye on the needle. So this one seems to be good. 
then I can tighten the four screws. If you need to adjust the needle position left and right, you need to loosen these three screws and use this adjustment screw. After the setup of the device, run a test design and keep an eye out for missing beads. A fold rate of 2% is acceptable. If your design has too many beads missing, repeat the setup process. As you can see, our test design isn't missing any beads. That means that our setup was successful. We hope this video was helpful to you and thank you for watching.